Hi everybody, welcome to this week's Ask Dara. My question this week was, how can you tell if you're overtraining? So this is kind of, overtraining is sort of a buzzword now and a lot of people are using it when it's really not appropriate. Uh, so first let's talk a little bit about what actually overtraining is or what kind of the common definition of overtraining is. So people will say they're overtrained when you're working out a lot and you start to always be sore and not enjoy your workouts as much and maybe start to not be able to sleep as well, have aches and pains and injuries and stop seeing results in the gym. People will say, oh, you're overtrained. So this is true to an extent, but really, as long as you're following proper progression with your workouts and are not doing anything too fast, too soon, kind of crazy things that are, will cause you to have acute injuries like sprains and strains and things like that, um, your body can really handle a lot and in most cases it's not so much that you're actually overtraining as much as you're under recovering so that being said if you were to follow the same kind of training protocol but let's say you're not getting enough sleep on a regular basis you're not eating properly um, you are not drinking enough water you're not giving yourself extra rest days when maybe you need it and you feel like your body needs rest but you decide to push through a workout anyways um, those are actually what causes the whole, the, all the symptoms of what's known as overtraining, which actually is under recovering, not giving your body what it needs in order to recover from those workouts. Because you can, your body can really take really hard, intense workouts for long periods of time, as long as you're giving it adequate time, food, and water to recover. So that being said, if you're feeling some of the common symptoms that are described of overtraining, uh, give yourself a couple days off. Scale back the weights a little bit in the gym. Make sure you're getting enough sleep. If you're regularly getting less than seven hours of sleep a night, bump that up and try to get at least eight, if not more, especially if you're in really heavy training for something. You may find that you actually need nine or 10 hours of sleep at night to give your body that time to recover. You know, look at your diet, make sure you're eating adequate protein depending on what your goals are, make sure you're getting adequate carbs um, and your good healthy fats, um, taking an omega-3 supplement to make sure that you are taking control of uh, any inflammation because with heavy training there's always going to be inflammation as well. So as long as you're taking the steps that you need to take to allow your body to recover from those workouts, you can't really overtrain in the traditional way that people say, oh, you're just overtrained. Um, if you're already at that point of feeling like you're overtrained, um, like I said, just take a little bit of extra rest, a little bit of a break until you start to feel that energy and that strength come back. And it's really going to be individual per, per, per person based on your circumstances when you're going to feel ready to push again. And honestly, extra sleep, make sure your eating is spot on, lots of water until you feel ready until you feel our strength come back in the gym again. Now, ideally we want to avoid that in the first place. So doing all those things that I just mentioned in with your workouts and not letting yourself get to that point where you are feeling the, the common symptoms of being overtrained, making sure that you're letting yourself recover all the way along. So that might mean that occasionally you're not gonna be able to stick to your workout plan exactly as is. If you know you're supposed to go to the gym today and push weights, and you're just not feeling it, you're really tired, your body might just need an extra day or two off and that's okay. It's really important to be in tune with your body and be in tune with what it needs and not just push yourself and every time you go to the gym feel like you have to kick the crap out of yourself no matter what um, you know, and feel like any resistance from your body is just weakness and you, know, you need to beat it out of yourself and that hardcore intense mindset is so wrong on so many levels. You do need to work hard and you do need to have intense workouts to be able to see progress, but you don't need to push yourself to the point of constant injury. And if you're feeling tired and if you're just not feeling it sometimes, it's okay to take a rest day. Take an extra rest day or two and let yourself have the time to recover. Because as we all know, we do the hard work in the gym, but the results are seen afterwards when you recover. That's when your body is processing all that work that you did in the gym and you have to make sure you're giving yourself adequate rest time as well. So work hard, rest easy. All right guys, make sure you submit your questions for next week and if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, share it if you like it and subscribe to make sure that you don't miss another video.
have a great week, guys, and we'll see you next week.